Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel and today we're going to be talking about the life cycle of cucumbers. Before we get into today's video, make sure that you like this video, comment, share this video, subscribe of course, and do not forget to click the notification bell in the corner before we move on into the video so that you can be reminded of every time we post a new video here on our channel, which is every single week. For those that have already subscribed to our channel, thank you so much. And um, thank you again for coming back for another video. Like I said, today we're gonna to be discussing the life cycle of cucumbers. This will be a more informational type of video, but make sure to tune in to our other videos here in our life cycles playlist, where we discuss the life cycle of, of other plants and fruits like tomatoes and corn and green beans. So if you're ready to get into the video, let's do it. Cucumbers are such a great vegetable to grow in your garden. They can be used in salads, made into pickles, and are an all around light refreshing snack to have in your garden on a hot summer's day. Before you get your hands on some cucumber seeds, let's discuss how to grow seedlings, how to care for them, and what goes into having an all around great harvest. It's so important to know that there are so many different varieties of cucumbers that you can grow in your home garden. There are over 100 types of cucumbers, and some of them include bush champion cucumbers, lemon cucumbers, which are like a round yellow, uh, shaped cucumber, early pride cucumbers, and picolino cucumbers. In our case, we're growing Bush Champion and Space Master 80 cucumbers. One is a bush variety, while the other can grow long and throughout the growing season. Picking the right type of cucumber for your growing space will make the difference between getting a nice harvest and having a difficult time with having your plants prosper. If you live in an apartment or household with limited to no green space, then the bush champion cucumber in a pot with the cage <laughs> will do best. However, if you have access to a large growing space, then try your hand at growing the Space Master, which produces a large and juicy cucumbers. Cucumbers, like many other plants, can be transplanted into the garden or directly sown into the soil. The benefit of having seedlings available to transplant into the garden allows you to decrease the time to harvesting cucumbers. Right after transplanting your cucumbers, it's imperative that you get your cucumber seeds into the ground to start the process of having a staggered planting or staggered harvest. What staggered harvesting means is that you will have a lot of produce coming out of, out of your garden at different times and not just at one time. This allows you to not be so overwhelmed with so much produce coming out of your garden, but it also gives you time to come up with different recipes and also eat the produce so that it doesn't go to waste. Having transplants in your garden, like a cucumber transplant, literally decreases the time it takes for you to reach an actual harvest on your cucumber plants. Now, once you transplant those cucumber plants into your garden, you need to make sure that you get those seeds into the ground. That's what we did, and that's why we will be having another harvest of cucumbers very shortly. Here in our garden, bubble bees are really attracted to the cucurbits. That's the family name of cucumbers, melons. Um, and this, uh, this allows for the opportunity to not have to worry about pollination. The bees really do a lot of the work. To bring pollinators to your cucurbits, place zinnias and marigolds around your plants and other flowers like sunflowers um, and once your flower, flowers are pollinated your fruit your fruit will grow exponentially if you have fruit that has set but then after a few days they fall off then it may be, may be because they weren't successfully pollinated or your plant just isn't receiving enough water and nutrients once your cucumbers reach a medium large size you want to harvest them if you wait too long, then the cucumber fruit will start to turn yellow. Once this happens, the fruit can still be eaten, but the flavor is off and the plant itself will start to think that it, it has reached its peak and will begin to reduce the um, new growth that comes from it. With your harvest, there are several methods of preserving your cucumbers. You can store them in the fridge, make pickles, or even dehydrate them to make cucumber chips. Cucumbers are so fresh tasting that you'll definitely miss them in the winter. We hope you learned something new from this video. If you have, 
please make sure to comment and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on our socials. We can be found on Facebook and Instagram at E-B-L-L-C-I-N-C and on TikTok at Project Grape. We have more videos like this coming to you guys very soon. So be on the lookout. Until next time, we'll see you all later in the garden. Bye.